And we're back with Divisions of Notes and Rests. A little sideways view of what Notes and Rests look like. We'll be seeing that in the right frame coming up soon. So far you've been looking at one kind of note. In the last two oh, sections of our study in guitar note reading, we looked first at intervals, and we, then we looked at scales. And pretty much they were all whole notes. There were some exercises where I threw quarter notes in just to save space. But the whole note was all you've really seen so far. You might have heard down the line that a whole note is four beats. But let's not jump the gun. No note is always four beats, or three beats, or two beats for that matter. The length of a note depends on what you are told it is. In other words, a whole note could be eight beats. A whole note could be two beats. So before you are told how long any one note is, it would be wise to first look at the relative length that notes have to each other. So first we have to look at simple meter first compound meter. Simple meter is when you divide the notes in half, you get multiples of two. A whole note divided in half is equal to two half notes. A whole note is equal to two half notes and a half note is equal to two quarter notes. One quarter note is equal to two eighth notes. In simple meter, when you divide two notes in half, you get multiples of two. So let's look at this chart here. One whole note is equal to two half notes. A whole note is on top. And keep in mind that when I say note, I also mean rest. So we have a whole rest on the right-hand side. So whole note on the left, whole rest on the right. We have two half notes on the left and then two half rests on the right. Now, the two half notes are equal to the one whole note. Same with the rests. Now, four quarter notes equal one whole note, just like four quarter rests equal one whole rest. And four quarter notes will equal two half notes. So that means one half note can be broken down into two quarter notes. Following along here, you just break everything down in half. You have one quarter note, that's equal to two eighth notes. Notice there are eight eighth notes in the measure, and that measure is equal to all the measures above it. Eight eighth notes equal four quarter notes. Four quarter notes equal two half notes. Two half notes equal one whole note. We can break it down to sixteenth notes and sixteenth rests. That's where you have the double beam on top. The eighth notes are beamed together with one beam. The sixteenth notes are beamed with two beams. And then we have thirty-second notes with three beams. Notice there are thirty-two notes in that measure equal to one whole note. And we have sixty-fourth notes. Sixty-four notes. They're too small to see there, and the rests are, are not even visible. And it is possible to have one twenty-eighth notes, too. But it's so rare. We rarely ever see that. And uh, there are even ways to uh, break the, the uh, meter down so that we can have uh, 16th notes as our fastest note as opposed to a 64th note. Uh, that's a little confusing, but just keep in mind that simple meter is breaking down notes that happen in multiples of two. So just to review again, if the whole note is four beats, let's say we assign it to be four beats, the half notes are two beats. The quarter notes are one beat. The eighth notes are half a beat each. The sixteenths would be one-fourth of a beat each. So four sixteenth notes equal one beat. In compound meter, when you divide notes in half, 
you get multiples of three. So look at these dots. You put a dot next to the note, and that note will become one and a half beats longer. So the what was a half note on the second level there, if we take a dot and add one half of a half note to the half note, you get two beats and it becomes three. Okay, but we haven't assigned any beats to these notes yet. We're just looking at the relative uh, length of each note. So, one dotted whole note is equal to two dotted half notes, which is equal to four dotted quarter notes. And now, look how many eighth notes... 12, you get 12 eighth notes grouped in threes equal to one dotted whole note. Okay, look at the 16th notes. You have six 16th notes equal to one dotted quarter note. Okay, this is uh, going to get a little complicated here, but eventually you'll understand what's going on. Check it out again. If we assign the beats, the dotted whole note being 12 beats, the dotted half notes are going to be 6 beats each. See how it breaks down in threes. The dotted quarter notes are 3 beats each. The eighth notes are one beat each. Simple meter divides in twos, compound meter divides in threes. It'll start to come together after we understand time signatures. And we'll talk about that in the next video. See you there. Take care.